Hi everyone! I am doing this week's video on Google Analytics and how to add it to your WordPress site. Now some of these same uh, procedures should apply to any website you have access to that you want to add Google Analytics tracking to. What I'm going to show you today is how to get it into your WordPress site because that's why where I host is WordPress. Um, but please, if you do anything, this is a great process to add free tracking to your website. Google Analytics is free to use at the base minimum and you get a ton of data. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and move myself to the corner here. Um, now to get Google Analytics set up, you will need a Gmail account. Uh, it's very easy to set one up, also free. And basically once you get into your Gmail account, you can go click in here and find your, find your way through and find analytics. And that's where we are right now. I already have a couple of sites set up, but essentially all it's going to do is add you to set up a site. Once you have the site set up, it's going to assign you a Google Analytics tracking code. Here you can see it previewed, which is great. That doesn't give us what we need though for the website tracking. So to do that, I'm actually going to go into admin and I'm in the wrong property. I'm going to go click in the correct property. And essentially I have my account and then the property we're talking about is a specific website. And that's where I'm landing and I want to find where to get the information I need to get this into my website for tracking. So uh, actually, it's pretty intuitive here, tracking information. So we're going to click on that and click on tracking code. Once you're in here, again, you've been assigned a tracking ID, a unique one for your property in this account. And this is for my really.social website. Below that, it gives you uh, some script. This is basic code. It should look very similar to anything else that might be in your website, particularly if you have a lot of plugins and things operating and functioning. This is one of those things. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that. Now, again, I'm going to motivate myself over to my WordPress site. Right now I'm in the background of my WordPress site. And what you want to do is click over here on Appearance and get down to Editor. We're going to get into the background of my website. So as I'm in here, what I want to do is I want to scroll through. And though if you'll, let's just hop really quick back into Analytics. It's saying, this is the Universal Analytics tracking code for this property. To get all the benefits of Universal Analytics for this property, copy and paste this code into every web page you want to track. An easy way to do that is to put this script in the header of your website. Because the header on most websites is static. It will, and even if it cycles through content, it's something that always has the navigation at the top. Um, if your website is structured that way, you always have this as a consistent um, placement on your website. You can also put it in the footer as well. I tend to pop it into the header. So again, I'm going to hop back over to my website. What I'm going to do over here is along the right, it's got the, um, the edited or the background uh, coding for each type of uh, component to my theme. And I'm going to find the theme header. All right. Now, um, I've got a few things in here. One of them, not the least of which is a Facebook pixel code. That is a different video. But um, I do have my Google Analytics um, script in here and you'll see what you want to look for is you're going to look for this you've got the starting head code and then between that and this end head code you just need to basically pop your google analytics code somewhere in there so remember i just copied it if i paste it in there and i hit update file that will add the google analytics tracking code to my website i already have it in there so i'm going to hit undo and back out and then you can go to your website once you've added that in, Google Analytics will take some time to start generating all your data. But once it does, you guys, you start seeing all kinds of data as far as like the people visiting your site. You can check um, different date frame, time frames, active users. Um, what's their behavior? Are they new versus returning? Are they visiting you from different kinds of devices, which can be very valuable. Desktop, mobile, or tablet, you know which one you need to, to work on the most. How are they getting to you? Are they coming to you through actual uh, ad campaigns or social media or organic search? All of this is data that you need. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is that this is incredibly helpful for you to have because particularly from a social media standpoint, we all want to see the end game to say, okay, I posted something on LinkedIn. Did it get someone through a form on my page to a thank you, meaning that I converted, I grabbed somebody? Google Analytics is the way to see that front to back action. So please use this video to get that added to your website. Uh, it's free to use. 
whether or not you use social media, Google Analytics is free and gives you that data that you need to make sure your website is all it can be. Hopefully this was helpful and please let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.